Welcome back. So this is the home stretch. Now, this young man, <clears throat> I'm, hold on. His choice of comedy is what sets him apart from his counterparts. He connects and touches lives with his brand of comedy, which is usually in a prophetic disguise. Anyway, I'm not going to say too much. Bayagun Oluwatoni, popularly called Wole Aroli, right? Yeah, yes, sir, you're correct. I'm correct. Yeah, Wole, Wole Aroli. Wole means prophet. Wole, that, that's uh, your Wole. Aroli. Aroli. Aroli means heir, eh, like the firstborn of a king to a throne. Okay. So that's it. Wole. Aroli. 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 Oroja de Ashetele. It's okay, I didn't know this is good too far. <laughs> well, he's a graduate of psychology from the above. From Gritifer. Psychology. Yes, sir. So you now came forth and decided that you're wanting to, you're going to use the psyche of the people <laughs> against them, right? <laughs> How can you do this? How this is wicked. No, it's just, you know, it's just it just came in. It's, it's flowing. The you know, psychology obviously is understanding the human behavior and mental processes. So just how to infuse the comic uh, mm. the comic use of it. My friend will say horror. Benny. <laughs> <laughs> His breakthrough came last year when he won the Alibaba Spontaneity Competition. He followed that with a viral video which, in which he attacked the University of Illinois students. The students of the institute also replied. And since then, Wali Aroli continued to make short comedy skits online. So what did you tell the Uni Illinois students? So because it's not about what I... It's because I see visions. I'm, you know, a lot of, lot of people, God called them. General of Isaiah has God called them. Pastor Adebo, God called him. Oedepo, God called him. Prophet with them. God called them. But I called God. It's different. My Yes, I, God, how, how, what's, up? what's happening? So he called me back. So I'm unique. Okay, you called him. Yeah, I called and God. And he called you. Yeah, so that's, yeah. I'm different because I have a calling. But does, you understand what I'm saying? No, well, hold on, hold on. Wait, you have a calling? Yes, sir. But you say you called him. And, and they then called he called me back. back. It was when I got called back that the calling now came. But first, I had the calling. Okay. You know, it's spiritual, so you cannot <laughs> understand. Totally. So I told them because Great Effect is the best investor in the world. Take it or leave it. Or bar at one university. That's the king of the university. And I told them our glory is unlimited. The second, because I saw the gigabyte of school glory. God woke me up one night and I saw it clearly. Second school that has glory is UI. UI is trying based on premier universities around 500 gig. Third was Unilag. But any school that ends with Sue has a serious issue. Uh -uh. Like last Suna is uh -huh. 20 gig. Exu, 10 gig. But also. Let me not say it. <laughs> I hope you know they are watching you. Right? I know. That's why they love me. I know I have a lot of fans all over, all, all from all over them. So mm. that's why they, they love the prophet. Okay, so you... Um, why did you choose this brand? Um, okay, sorry. You say you have... Sorry, I, I'm sorry. You say you have calling. Ben, mm. they called my calling. The, and and the call, the, that calling was to this brand of comedy. I'm telling you. What's... How... how acceptable has your brand been uh i i would say for uh, as far as for now uh, i would say it's really it's beyond what i actually thought of it's beyond what i expected for me you know a brand that is that has been accepted all across the world because i had been to a couple of countries and the reception over there is something that blows my mind you know that's there's really any place i get to young people even elderly people tr tend to love because the comedy that uh I use that as a form of passing message across. I use that as a form of uh, promoting value and culture. And also, it, it's a way of, of doing clean. I do clean comedy. You know? I, I, I just use it as a medium of conveying message. And what, what, what brought this part of comedy for me was, I feel that there are a lot of, there is hip-hop music. Some people just sit down and they created something. You know, there is Fuji music made by the likes of Barista, you know, Wasya and Demasha. There is Afro Juju, you know, that made by Shino Peter. There is the kind of music that Sonia, they produce. The kind of music fella produced, his own kind of genre. Can there be a genre of comedy that will come from myself that links the way our people pray, the way they talk? So that was where the prophetic guys came to my comedy. That something just not the conventional and which people can experience daily. So I don't you don't need to go for a comedy show before you enjoy me. Once you have your phone and you have your data, then fine. What if I don't have data? Why don't you prophesy data into the phone? Because me too, I'm looking for data. <laughs> <laughs> That's I need data. I'm telling you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, 
I would have said, how do you get your inspiration? Of, of course, you tell me it's from, from God. 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 Yes, and because from, he called me. It's none of your concern. <laughs> Even the line that used to call me is none of your concern. So the, had the, the winning of the spontaneity, was that it also uh, yeah, the, revealed the, to you? No, actually, I, went, I, I won the semi-final, but I didn't win the final. Okay. But, but that, that was a bit transformational for me. But where the transformation really came from was from the little skit I do on, on Instagram. You know, I did the first one, the second, the third, and I kept that. So people started sharing it all across. There was a lady that compiled my video and sent it to friends in America. So virtually, people that understood the language I was saying, and people that even didn't even understand. When I was like, there's a prophet in Nigeria. There's one guy. So they sent it to London. Then London, people now sent it to Nigeria. So I kept doing it. I kept that thing. But you, you chose to do this in the Yoruba language, Yeah, right? because that is where it comes from. That is the conkness you get. Mm -hmm. It's just like God called me from that particular origin and but are you not concerned that those that don't understand you ever might not appreciate your kind of comedy mm, I, there is a way i translate it it's not 100 percent yoruba you get it's not i don't do 100 percent but fine there's some things that there's some prayers that you need to speak look at that even if it's Igbo, i want i do i can go english you know it's just you know when I, <laughs> like when i like when i went to london i i saw a lot of Hebrew people that actually came to meet me that you are doing amazing. You crack my husband up. If people use it to teach their children Yoruba language, I've seen people told me, I really, fine, do your English, but please don't lose that Yoruba because it shows this where I'm coming from. I have a root. You get Everybody do, some people just do pigeon. I'm not from worry. People promote where they are from. I'm a Yoruba person. So why can't I do something and at the same time do what we cut across? Mm. Uh, okay, so um, you've been doing this now from graduation after graduation right from 100 level from 100 level yes sir. and how did your parents take this at first my mom you know my mom wanted me to the normal medicine i wanted to do medicine medicine did not work i crossed lord but no yeah hey, <laughs> I, <crossed. laughs> did <not> work. <laughs> I was a crosser okay. so my glory crossed uh. <laughs> so but comedy had been something that she knows that i make people laugh from when i was young i just love to anywhere i am i just love to crack up so when the real thing that came and I told her, obviously she liked it. Her, her whole concern was just make sure you do something that promotes the family name, something that when people hear about you, they'll be happy. And since humor is a way of making people happy, so my father and my mom, in fact, my mom cried, cried jokes for me. Okay. Okay, when we'll come back, we'll look at how your family is tying into all of this. Yeah. Please don't go away.